Welcome friends, welcome back to the hangar. Today we're going to take Mike Victor Uniform on a short hop to a flyout with the Trillium Aviators. We're only going to Lindsay, about 20 minutes from the Oshawa airport. We'll probably spend more time uh, run up and taxiing here in Oshawa than I will actually in the air. Um, this is a group that gets together regularly on Thursdays. Um, I work freelance, so every once in a while I get a Thursday afternoon that I can go and do this. So we're going to go up there, we're going to meet these guys. And then after we leave Lindsay, we're going to fly around to a couple of airports that I'm interested in landing at. One is close to um, where friends of ours have moved to. It's a grass strip, it's private, you have to call ahead in order to land. So I'm just going to fly over and take a look and see what it looks like. The other one is an airstrip that's not on the charts yet. It's not in the books. There's no information about it. I flew over it about a month ago and it looked like a really nice brand new tarmac runway. Um, so we're going to go take a look at that and see what it's all about. Let's get in the air and see what happens. Oshawa information Foxtrot. Weather at 1400 Zulu. Wind. Miles. Sky clear. Temperature 2 tree. Dew point 12. Altimeter 3000. Approach our nav runway 05. Landing and departing runway 05. Inform ATC that you have information Foxtrot. Oshawa Tower, this is Foxtrot, Mike Victor Uniform, holding short 05 on Charlie for takeoff. Mike Victor Uniform Tower, left turn, out clear takeoff, runway 05. Mike Victor Uniform, cleared 05, left turn out. Mike Victor Uniform. Indy Stair Tango Tower, number 2, follow Cessna, turning right base. Temperature 2, this is Cessna, turning right base. Tower, this is Gulf India Sierra Tango, negative on the traffic, could you call our base? India Sierra Tango, uh, number two, they are turning a mile final, you can turn base at your discretion. Turning base, Gulf India Sierra Tango. Oshawa Tower, Fox Trot, Mike Victor Uniform, could I uh, uh, leave straight out? Mike Victor Uniform, straight out, departure approved. Straight out, Mike Victor Uniform, thank you. So it's, it's not that hot today. Uh, outside air temperature is 25 degrees Celsius, but it's boiling in the cabin. The, sun, uh, the sun's hitting it just the right way. A rather quiet morning at the Oshawa airport today. And uh, taking off runway 05, I don't often uh, use runway 05. I probably count on both hands the number of times I've used it. So that's a bit of a treat. And uh, it's pretty much almost straight out to our destination. Not quite. Almost. Uh, and Tower was very accommodating, letting us go straight out. Oshawa Tower, Mike Victor Uniform leaving the zone at 3000. Mike Victor Uniform Tower, change on our frequency. Have a good one. Thank you very much. Mike Victor Uniform. Okay, so this is where we changed the on route frequency, which is um, 126.7. Right, so I'm going to swap that in. Cessna 172 at 3,500 feet. Headed eastbound, uh, southeastbound for Here West on the map, Port. this area Coming here at Lake Skugog is a, a clogged training area. And they use 122.9. So 122.9, I'm going to put that in. I can hit that button, dual. Now I can listen on two frequencies at once. I can only transmit on one frequency, so I will be transmitting on 126.7 unless I press this button and switch between. But now I can listen to anyone who's... traffic in the Collingwood area, Cessna 172, Foxtrot Alpha Tango Papa, currently 6 miles southwest of Collingwood, maintaining 2500, heading southwest. I can listen to anyone who's in the training zone, and if I need to reply to them, I can. Uh, that last call was from Collingwood, which is, in this aircraft, about a... Calling back for the moon, this is Golf Sierra, Charlie X-Ray, Bancroft conditions were good, winds were light and variable, I used runway 30, seemed to be active. Collie 1 traffic, this is Uniform Quebec Mike, 20 miles west of Collingwood at 3,000 flying south. That, that 126.7 frequency is just so jammed and it's people from everywhere and I, I 
Commissioner, Race Lake Traffic, uh, 172 Float Plane, Bob and Vemmer, Quebec, is about four miles uh, northwest of Butley, 2300, uh, descending for water landing at Butley. Okay, so the Lindsay Airport, I see it. I, I can see it. I'm sort of doing a slow arc around. Um, I'll lose some altitude over Pigeon Lake and then join the, I'll cross directly overhead the runway and uh, join the left downwind for 3-1. You may not be able to see it. But Lindsay the traffic, wind to go back, go back, go back, turning left final, full stop, skew down, Lindsay. I've got one of the brand new uh, titanium folding bikes in the back. I was playing around with getting it in this morning and seeing how I could uh, how I could put them in. I'll get you a shot of that. So uh, I picked those up yesterday from Helix in Toronto. Titanium folding bike, um, not a full size uh, bike wheel but not the tiny little folding bike wheel either. And kind of, when you unfold yeah. it, it looks like a bicycle, not a folding bicycle. Yeah. Taxes in on the fuel. That is two things in. Yeah. People asking about the fuel price at, uh, at Lindsay. Uh, apparently they're, they, they're dropping the fuel price for everybody who's flying in today. And right below us here, I don't know if you can see it, Someone's mowed like three runways in their grass. Little private strip, it's not on the CFS uh, or on the charts. Uh, I love finding little things like that. Lindsay traffic, Mike 15 or just about to cross overhead the field at circuit altitude to join the left downwind for one rate three one. Okay, so I've got a guy taking off. There will be no conflict with him. Lindsay traffic, Mike Victor uniform turning final 3-1, full stop, Lindsay. Lindsay traffic, uh, Zulu Bravo Quebec is uh, seven miles to the south. West at uh, 3,000, we're inbound for landing. Uh, uh, any traffic advisory would be appreciated. Zulu Bravo Quebec for Lindsay traffic. Lindsay traffic just calling. This is Charlie Golf Delta Vector Mike currently at 3.5 and 4.2 west, southwest of Lindsay uh, on my way west. I think we all be uh, above you guys. Roger that. We're uh, on the descent. Uh, we're right now at 2,700 and descending. So it should be no conflict. Uh, Zulu Bravo, Quebec. Lindsay traffic, Mike Victor from backtracking 3 1. Probably my worst landing ever. Lindsay traffic, Mike Victor from clear of 3 1 on Charlie. Lindsay. So, made it to Kortha Lakes Municipal Airport for the Trillium Aviators fly in. Quite a lot of planes here. Um, and of course, you know, I had a horrible landing. <laughs> Bounced, ballooned, it was terrible. Um, got parked, and then of course forgot to call London FIC to close my flight plan. So they called me while I was having lunch. Um, but you know, I'm having a good day. I'm having some fun. Let's take a look at some airplanes. Don't know why, but I am attracted to this one. <laughs> okay. So I walked over to this plane. I'm attracted to it. I, it's a great looking airplane. I like the year. Um, and of course, right on the door, Close your flight plan. I'm, uh, I think I'm gonna put that sticker on the side of my plane. Well, that's a fancy wingtip. 
lots of things to see here today. Uh, some of the planes are taken off. Great lunch, great planes, great people. Had a really good time today at this airport and this flyout with uh, the Trillium Aviators. So I'm gonna get back in the plane and we're gonna fly over a couple airstrips on the way back to Oshawa and see where our next adventure is gonna be. Lindsay traffic, Mike Victorino from holding short 3-1 on Charlie for departure. And Lindsay traffic in from Gulf Coast, uh, going over the field uh, mid uh, runway. Lindsay traffic, Mike Victor uniform, uh, rolling on to 31 for takeoff. Lindsay. Entered runway 31, 3,400 feet remaining. Lindsay traffic uniform, Gulf Gulf is turning to the southwest at 1,200 feet. Oh, Gulf Gulf. Lindsay traffic, just to 150, let's move. Turning crosswind for 3 1, full stop. So here we are, this is this is Sturgeon Lake, uh, just north of the town of Lindsay. And we're coming up on a private airstrip that was just put in. Last couple of times I've asked people about it, nobody knows anything. I just spoke to the airport manager at uh, at Lindsay and he told me that this is a private airstrip. That the uh, guy that owns this piece of property decided that he wanted his own airstrip. He's got a couple of airplanes. And so he put this in and he paved it. It is a Albert area traffic, Charlie Fox, Hotel, Lee, Missoula, System 184, plane currently 3,100 feet. We're about 10 miles to the uh, west of Halliburton. It's going to be passing overhead the field of 3,000. Uh, field out to uh, Halliburton, uh, Head Lake in Halliburton uh, for water lighting. Charlie Fox, Hotel, Lee, Missoula. Absolutely incredible. I mean, that is every pilot's dream, or most pilots' dreams, maybe not every pilot, most pilots' dreams to have their own 2,700 foot paved runway in their backyard um, at their lake property. And so since it's private, it'll probably never end up on the charts, well, it'll end up on the charts, but as a private strip. Um, it's one of those places where maybe you have to call ahead which is no problem. It also provides a great emergency strip for uh, anybody in the area that might need an emergency strip. Plus a squelch on that. Is that okay? Okay. Absolutely great looking runway. And so I had quite a few people at the fly-in mention that they watched the channel. Uh, thank you uh, so much. Thank you so much for watching and supporting. Um, it's great to be part of this community again. You know, I, I didn't, in the years that I didn't fly, I didn't realize how much I missed it. And, you know, then I go to a fly out like that and I realize, you know, I, I really did miss it. And it's great to have, uh, it's great to have these new friends. And people that you might only see once every, you know, eight months or a year or so. Uh, but it's great to see them. So I've been dissecting that horrible landing at uh, at the Lindsay Airport. And there was a whole bunch of things going on there. I was overthinking landing there. I was overthinking landing there because, you know, there was a big audience. You know, there's probably 30 planes down there, 30 pilots all looking up to the sky and watching, coming in. And that threw me off. And so I didn't get set up in the downwind correctly. And my my brain wandered a little bit, and then as I was on final, I was too high, uh, definitely too high, and so I my approach was too steep. I realized that, and then at the runway threshold was a photographer in a in a high vis jacket taking pictures of me landing. And when I first, you know, like there was no movement, and then there was movement. It's like oh, like, you know, I looked and I saw this person in a high vis jacket, and I thought, shit, why is there someone on the threshold, or at the threshold, or close to the threshold? They weren't really on the threshold, but they were they were in that sort of landing zone. And that, that completely threw me off. And it's those little things that, you know, 
you have to watch for because you know you need to watch for people or wildlife on the runway, um, especially at, at a smaller runway or a smaller airport where you know people could just wander on. I know at Edenville people could just wander out there, and they did. Uh, even though there was a fence, the gates open, and people would walk around it. And so that threw me off. And I guess I have to, as a pilot, as I mature as a pilot, as I as I sort of regain my footing as a pilot, because I didn't fly for a while, as I regain my footing, um, how do I put those things out of my mind? How do I look at that um, and, you know, make better uh, decisions? Lake traffic, uh, 172 Gulf here, Charlie Tango. We're at uh, 4.3. Uh, we're about uh, three miles to the northwest of Omimi doing a practice forced approach uh, into a field. And make better decisions. Uh, you know, there was a point there where I Traffic in the Crystal Lake area, that's 172, Foxtrot Alpha Sierra Charlie over Crystal Lake 2000, tracking southbound towards Peterborough, Foxtrot Alpha Sierra Charlie. I ballooned, I bounced, I had lots of runway to drop this thing in. Uh, there was a split second there where I thought go around. Human, make mistakes, learn from them. I think that's the I think that's the whole point, isn't it? At no point did I feel unsafe, though. At no point did I feel like I was out of control. Okay, let's switch over and listen to the Oshawa Atis. Landing and departing runway one two. Inform ATC that you have information kilo. Oshawa Tower, exit left Charlie, contact ground. Correction, exit left runway 05, contact ground, 1184, one off. Okay, Julia. Oshawa Tower, this is Foxtrot, Mike Victor Uniform. Foxtrot, Mike Victor Uniform, Oshawa Tower. Mike Victor Uniform is a Cessna 172, currently abeam the town of Blackstock at uh, 2,500 feet, inbound for landing on a VFR flight plan with info kilo. Uh, last departed, Lindsay. Quebec Tower, traffic exits runway intersection, winds 220 at 6, cleared to land, runway 12. Let's get Mike Victor, Uniform Tower, runway 12, winds 220 at 6, altimeter 29 or cleared left downwind, report a beam Columbus, squawk 0050. Mike Victor, Uniform, uh, left downwind 12, report a beam Columbus, uh, 0050, squawk. Mike Victor Uniform. Mike Victor Uniform, tower change of plans, report the Walmart. Report the Walmart, Mike Victor Uniform. Oshawa Tower, with you Mike Lima, turning base. Oshawa Tower, Mike Victor Uniform, beam the Walmart. Mike Victor Uniform, tower number three, fall at the late stages of the left downwind. Mike Victor Uniform, listen to traffic. Okay, there's the traffic ahead of me someone uh, on the runway taking off, so he's number one, she is number two, I am number three. Why is he not taking off? Why is he not on the roll? Lima Tower, pull up and go around traffic on the runway. Continue on runway heading. I'll call you across the turn. Thank you, Mike Lima. Oshawa Tower, good afternoon. TBM Charlie Golf, uh, Whiskey Mike Fox. Uh, clear the RNAV uh, 1 2, uh, transition NADVA. Whiskey Mike Foxtrot, Oshawa Tower, runway 12, winds 1907, altimeter 29 or 9 or 7, report F lot. Call you F lot, Whiskey Mike Fox. Whiskey Mike Lima Tower, as soon as safely able, you can start that left crosswind turn. Whiskey Mike Lima. Thank you, runway Whiskey Tower, fly runway heading for now. All call the crosswind, winds 1907, clear takeoff, runway 12. Okay, you call my crosswind, Yankee, on Whiskey, thanks. Mike Victor Uniform Tower, number one. Number one, Mike Victor Uniform. 
Oshawa Tower, call from your Zulu Delta with information kilo. Whiskey Mike Lima Tower, continue that turn into the downwind. Whiskey Mike Lima, turning to downwind. Go for me, Zulu Delta, Oshawa Tower. Oshawa Tower currently at uh, 2,500 feet over uh, Bowmanville and heading south to Oshawa for full stop. Zulu Delta Tower, runway 12, winds 180 at 5, altimeter 29 or 9 or 7, cleared left downwind, report Walmart, not below 2,000 feet, till further advised. Running a Zulu Delta, not below 2,000 feet. Mike Victor Uniform Tower, winds 180 at 5, cleared to land, runway 12. Cleared to land, 12, Mike Victor Uniform. Zulu Delta Tower, confirm current position. Uh, current position is uh, directly over, uh, over Port Perry. Apologies. Runway Zulu Delta Tower, change of plans. You are cleared left base for runway 12. Report, report Columbus, still not below 2,000 feet till further advised. Runway Zulu Delta, not below 2,000. Whiskey Mike Lima Tower number 2, follow Cessna short final. You can start that base turn now. Number two, looking for the traffic and turning to base, you might come on. Hotel Zulu, Julia Tower, I check you're approaching Columbus. You're number three, following assessment, just turning a left base. Number three, looking for the traffic, Hotel Zulu, Julia. Whiskey Mike, Foxtrot Tower, traffic just one mile north of Urbex, appears to be an orbiting aircraft, 2,900 feet, type and altitude unverified. Okay, Whiskey Mike, Fox, we're looking. Yankee Romeo Whiskey Tower, turn left crosswind now. Hey, left crosswind, Yankee Romeo Whiskey. Uh, tower Whiskey Lima, Quebec calling, sure ready to go on the road. Whiskey Lima, Quebec Tower, stand by. Mike Victor Uniform Tower, exit left runway 05, contact ground 1184, one off. Exit on the 05, contact ground, Mike Victor Uniform. Another bad landing. I guess it's not my day. I guess it's not my day, and I guess that's part of, uh, you know, putting this out there on YouTube. You're going to watch me improve as a pilot. So, again, thanks for watching, thanks for supporting the channel. Um, you know, if you see me out and about, please come up and talk to me. I'd, uh, I love talking about airplanes and food. So, we'll see you again soon. Thanks a lot.